Hi everyone, I'm back with another story for you. This story today is called, There Might Be Lobsters. This is by Carolyn Crimmy, and it's illustrated by Laurel Mulk. Lots of things at the beach scared Suki. Lots. Hmm. So can you see already who maybe one of the characters is in our story? Name is Suki. It looks like might be a dog. There might be lobsters. Come on, Suki, you can do it, said Eleanor. She stood at the bottom of the stairs to the beach and waved to Suki. I'll show you an up close picture of Suki. Looks like he's sitting at the top of the stairs and you can see there too that he has what looks to be like a little monkey. But Suki was just a small dog and the stairs were big and sandy and she hadn't had lunch yet and her foot hurt a little and she might get a shell stuck up in her nose and she might tumble down on her head and then she'd need stitches and besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the top of the stairs with Chunkamunka by her side. So that must be that little monkey that's sitting right there, and that monkey's name is Chunkamunka. Oh, all right, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a tisk and, and a huff and carried them right down the stairs. Hmm. So you can see there, Eleanor has her puppy and also Chunkamunka. Come on, Suki, you can do it, said Eleanor. She tossed a beach ball Suki's way. But Suki was just a small dog and the beach ball was big and beachy and it might hit her nose and then it would pop and it might be too loud or it might knock her down and she might never get up again and she might have to live on the beach forever and eat seaweed to survive. And besides, beach balls attract lobsters. So Suki sat far away from the beach ball with Chunkamunka by her side. Hmm. So, so far, how would you describe Suki? Hmm. I think maybe I would say that Suki sounds like she might be scared of lots and lots of things, especially at the beach, and especially maybe of those lobsters. Oh, Suki. Eleanor swooped that pup up with the tisks and, and a huff and cradled her off in her arms. Come on, Suki, you can do it. Eleanor stood at the water's edge and splashed a little splash at Suki. But Suki, well, was just a small dog. And those waves were big and they were whooshy and they were salty and they were too wet and they might toss her out into the middle of the sea and she might float all the way to Tasmania or even Florida and she might be swallowed by a whale and she wasn't wearing a bathing suit and besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the edge of the water with Chunkamunka by her side. So again, we hear that Suki is maybe scared of a lot, but you know, it also sounds like Suki is maybe feeling a little better with Chunkamunka by her side, right? Hmm. Do you have something that makes you feel really, really good and safe? Hmm. I think we all have something like that, right? Oh, Suki, said Eleanor. She shook her head and dove into the waves. Suki sat and watched beach balls bouncing and big boys running and umbrellas flapping and lifeguards blowing loud whistles and waves splish splashing with Chunkamunka. Chunkamunka was floating out to sea. Suki barked for Chunkamunka to come back. Chunkamunka started to sink. Oh no. Suki started to paddle. 
she paddled past a big beachy ball and through a huge salty wave and over something that might even be a lobster. Until she had Chunkamunka. He was safe. Suki had saved him. She felt braver than the bravest dog because even though she was very small, Chunkamunka was smaller. Oh, Suki, I knew you could do it, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a yay and a hooray and swung them very gently through the air. Look at the face here. Looks like Eleanor is happy. It looks like, well, it looks like Suki is pretty happy. And you can even see that Chunkamunka looks pretty happy on top of, uh, on top of the pup too. Suki sat in the sandy sand with the wavy waves and watched for lobsters with Chunkamunka by her side. And they didn't see one all day. And that's the end of There Might Be Lobsters. I hope you loved that story as much as I did. I think something that I learned from that story is that sometimes things maybe scare us, right? We all have something that scares us a little bit. But a lot of times we can get past those fears if we just work on those things, right? I think we could be pretty proud of Suki. And I think Eleanor in this story was very proud of her pup that finally... Even though uh, Suki went out there to rescue Chunkamunka, I think Suki probably realized that, hey, the water's not so bad, and it's actually not so scary at all. So, think about that. What is it that maybe scares you, and how can you overcome some of those things? I hope you have loved this story as much as I did. I hope you find some more books this summer that you can read and that you love as well. And this one, if you want to read it again, once again, it was called There Might Be Lobsters. I hope you have a wonderful summer, everybody. Bye.